Got your handy little deal on you. Got him? I think I'm a five pounder. But I do want to hit this area. There she goes. She's ready. You're ready. Ready to Which go. What do you want, Jack? Uh, I'm just going to grab one. Go ahead. What do you think? Popper. I'm going to throw them both. I love them both. I said too, my best rod, my only good rod. Everything else is making me want to cry. My firework. Let's get him going. You would have to be an idiot not to tie a proper on here. At least. Some kind of top. I got a bug bait. Yeah, that's what I was telling myself. I said, you'd have to be dumb not to bring a top on. Point. Oh. There you go. Little white bass, I think. Nah, it'd look green. Large, largey or spotted. Maybe smallmouth. This first one. Yep. About the size of your popper. And I don't have no pliers. Hey, I'll, I'll <laughs> fix that for you. That would be little mouth, little mouth fish. Go get big one day, you idiot. So there's some top going on. That was like pretty shallow too. Yeah, that was like right on the bank. Oh, there you go. Oh. Oh my gosh, he scared me. It's a smallmouth, probably. Yeah. The way he's fighting. Oh my gosh, that scared me. <laughs> oh no, that's a good bass. That's solid. Stay in. Stay in. No, 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 no. Stop. Stop. No, you're no, I didn't want you to do that. <laughs> Got your handy little deal on you. Oh God. oh God. Get him up, get him up. <laughs> okay. Yeah. That's number two right there. Dude, I should have lost that fish. Yeah. <laughs> what a miracle. One in a million you hook him in the belly as he falls off. I'm gonna get me a selfie. Yeah, that's the one advantage of a tie. Yeah, you really stealthy. You can get away with just about anything. Yeah. You can look at him on too. Yep. Uh, yeah. There we go. Yeah, you can tell the way he's fighting. That's yeah. Be a Not a bad start for me. All right. First smallie, my first fish of the day. On a Ned rig. See this little Ned bomb by Missile Baits. Mm -hmm. What'd you name him? <laughs> what I name him? Yeah. How about you name him? Old Ned. Old Ned. Well, that's old Ned. Old Ned. Ate the Ned. We'll get him back in. It's my Ned rig bait I'm running today. It's a Missile Baits Ned Bomb. It's in a green pumpkin, red flake color. I'm not sure exactly what it's called, but I've been throwing that thing a lot this summer for a small mouth. It's been doing pretty good. called a tiny child's rig. I use it in creeks. It's got different action. Uh, yep. Got a small mouth. It's my number two. Nice smallie. Yeah, let's go. All right. Let's get back. Oh God, <laughs> knock slack in it, jeez. <laughs> Good one? Oh, yeah. Feels like a out. yeah, it is. Oh, I have to go <laughs> There you go. Could you calm down? Oh, I got my mate close. Now where are those buttons? This kind of sucked that boat just flew out of that pocket. That's the spot I wanted to hit.
Probably go in there anyways, though. Yeah, maybe you can see the There's always a chance. <laughs> oh, look at that. Oh, wow. <laughs> I don't think I'll keep, though. <laughs> Man. Oh, there we go. Oh, it's a little better. Oh, it's uh, what is that? Oh, Smalley, look at that. Actually, I think that is. There we go. We just graphed over a little section over there, and we've seen some stumps and rocks and everything that we have been seeing, but we also saw what looked like a little school of fish. So we stopped and started to break apart this little pocket. And sure enough, there's about a 15 inch smallie on a spinnerbait. Best fish of the day so far. You, your topwater fish this morning might have been a little bit bigger, I'm not sure. Um, but that's a decent one. We'll go ahead and uh, get him back in here in a second. Yeah, we definitely found that school on a couple little smallmouth right here. Just off the tip of this secondary point, we got wind blowing in the back of it. That's another one on the spinner bait right here. We'll get him back in. Oh, there he is. <laughs> Better that was another one. I think the school's over here now. I bet that was a school of smallies. Yeah, might be able to. Might be a decent idea to chuck that deep crank over here. Get a little bit farther down. School of smallmouth, huh? I'll take it. Yeah, this is an easy pattern if you just want to run this. Yep. Search for that one 15 inch smaller. Yeah, I, I felt him hit at the start of the cast and I thought it might have just been a rock. And then as it went on, I saw him come out and he tried to eat it again. And then he finally got the third time. I'm surprised he missed it that many times with that trailer hook in the back. That's kind of weird. Same cell boat. River to hell. I shouldn't have itched my foot by the way, now it's bleeding. <laughs> oh. You know what might not be a bad idea? A little slow. Yeah, I'm gonna trim that hair. I don't think the bait fish they're eating is quite that big. What'd you think of that? Oh, you got you a weapon on. Yeah, I do. 
They call that the 15 inch Excalibur. Do they? We'll change up. I just took off the Ned rig. I've got a small Divine swim bait on a jig head. Had to trim it up a little bit so it'd fit. I've seen a lot of smallmouth up here just kind of popping up occasionally and dipping back down. And I've had a lot of them that have come up and kind of smacked the blades or just followed the spinner bait. So I'm going to try something a little bit different and see if they want that. <laughs> That's number one on the swim bait. Definitely not the size I want, but fish are fish. Can't complain too much. Getting back in. That looked like a decent fish, too. You lost. Oh, little. There she is. Got a little one. Yeah, that swim bait seems to be the move so far. That's two fish in about three minutes. And he just missed one back there too on a jerk bait. So we're still cranking on that school. We'll get it back in. All of our bites seem to be like right in the bank. Oh, that was another one. Oh, he's falling it still. He got it. He came back for that. Oh, I missed it. Dang, that was cool. Oh, come off. Damn it. Oh. Good smolly. Dark one. Smally, Bingo. Might be the uh, I don't know. He's going to be close. That, might be the we were looking for. that is a beautiful fish. Look at that. Much darker than the other ones we're catching. Got that swim bait around the top of his mouth. Actually hit it once and came back for it again. Camera's starting to die. I'm at about 20%, so you guys are gonna just see whenever we hook one from here on out. But you can see that dude, very pretty fish. And we'll get him back here in just a moment. One last look at her. All right. There she goes. Oh, that's a good fish. Oh, come off, no. Oh, uh, what the freak is happening? Dang it. There? That was a good fish. Look at that. Right down the throat, that little swim bait. Another beautiful smallmouth. Tyler has missed an ungodly number of fish on a jerk bait. It's really hurting me right now, but that one is a pretty solid one. I've lost a couple other better fish too. Um, I don't know why, just bad hookup or something else happening but this one is probably about the same as that other good one we got let's see measure him real quick he is about 14 and a three quarter or so that ain't him. <laughs> it's a pretty good one though pretty good fish we'll get him back in very nice cast another little one He's got like a tiger pattern on top of his head. Another pretty fish. We'll get him back. He's just hooked sideways now, apparently. There he goes. I cast it up into one area about three different times and had three different fish try to grab. Another tiny one. Another little guy. Slowing down a little bit. Uh, we've kind of hit this point over and over, but missed a lot of fish lately. This is the first one we actually landed here, probably in like the last 15 minutes, so. They're all good fighters. Oh my god! 
I got one in the boat. About time. Holy freaking crap. How many have you missed on a jerk bait? Uh, four. Yeah. First fish on a drop shot. Just missed another one. <laughs> Gosh, that's a taco. I don't even know taco meat. A lot of decent fish up here, but there's also a lot of these. So we'll get them back. Another small one on the drop shot. Bait right next to the boat. We'll get them back in. Dang, he's big and hard for his size. You're not even that big. I think I'm a five pounder. Another drop shot fish, about the same size as the last two, and we'll get them back in. There you go. <laughs> Doubles. And yours is on top. Both tiny, but both small moths. You jerk. Now the one on the drop shot. The little guy, again, probably about a 10 inch fish. We'll go ahead and release him. Yep, same spot, same results. We just moved to another area up here, across the lake, wind's still blowing now. And sure enough, first couple casts with that drop shot in the same kind of area, and it's got me a fish. The small one, caught a lot this size, and we'll get him back. Oh, airborne. <laughs> you saw that one fall in. Yeah, no, I don't know if it was the same fish, but I did like a pause instead of just burning it straight away. Yeah. Got a little one. Emphasis on little. I see what you mean. Now the small one. He just took off like a freaking bat. Doubles. Both tiny. <laughs> Heck yeah, man. Stretch, stretch, stretch. That was a great boat. What would you say about the day, Tyler? Uh, a grind. That's what I would say it was. Grind? A grind all day. <laughs> we caught a lot of numbers, though. Um, I actually caught an 18 and a half inch smallmouth there at the end on a drop shot. So, first time throwing a drop shot today and catching any fish, and that was pretty fun. But we're going to go ahead and head back, and thank you guys for watching.